Hey guys, my name is Hassan from Right Turn, and today we're gonna make a very interesting video about questions and answer from visa interview from embassy. A lot of students ask us about this, and today I'm gonna make the video to cover them all. So stay tuned. I will try my best to make this video as interesting as possible and as short as possible, so we don't waste any time. So let's get started. Before I start telling you about what kind of questions ambassador or embassy can ask you, so remember that not all these questions he gonna ask from you because it's really depend on the person's mood. And sometimes interview lost for two minutes, sometimes it's lost for five minutes. It's all depend upon the person who gonna take your interview. But I will try my best to list every possible question he might can ask you during your interview so you can prepare yourself ahead of time. So let's get started. The very first question is that he gonna ask, this question he definitely gonna ask for every single person and which is introduce yourself. So in this question, you need to tell them about yourself, your age, your name, where you born and all these things. Try to make all these answers simple as possible and straightforward. Don't try to add information he don't ask from you. So next question can be why you choose Ukraine to study. So in this question, you can tell about that Ukraine have cheaper universities as compared to Europe, but education standards are almost equal to European standards. So that's why I choose Ukraine because it was in my budget. Quality of education was a lot better and living expenses were very low. That's why I choose Ukraine for my studies. You can answer like that or you can add your information that you think gonna help in your visa, okay? So next question he gonna ask about your university. Well, he gonna ask you about the university name and which major you choose and why you wanna study this major and why in this university. So remember, all these questions he can ask in one simple question or he can ask in parts. It's all depend on the person who gonna ask from you. So let's say he asks you about the university and all these things. So you can tell that the major, let's example, I'm gonna give you the example. Let's say I am an architecture and architecture in this university is the best. You need to give a logical answer to all the questions he gonna ask from you, okay? So the next thing he can ask you from is about your family. How many siblings do you have? He can ask you how, how many family members do you have? He can ask you who is sponsoring you? Like, let's say, you need to tell about your family. Like, you have two brothers, I have five family members. My father is gonna sponsor me. And he can also ask more questions like, how your sponsor making money? Like, how your father is making money? What kind of business, what kind of job he have? So you need to tell them, like, he is a businessman, he's a shopkeeper, he's a business owner, he's doing this kind of job. So actually, at this point, ambassador is trying to understand your financial situation of your family. Like, he's trying to understand how many people are making money in your family. So you need to tell them about what your father is doing, how much, maybe he can even ask how much money he's making per month on average basis. You need to tell that too, if he asks, okay? And then you need to tell about your family and all this stuff. And after that, he gonna ask some questions which, is, which can be really tricky because you need to answer them very carefully. Okay, this question is about your future plans. He gonna ask you about what kind of future plans do you have after completing your studies. Remember, embassies or ambassador, his job is to identify that you are not gonna stay in the country. If somehow he knows that you're gonna stay in the country after studies, he, will, he can reject your visa. So that's his job. His job is to identify the person who is really a real student or maybe he have some other attentions after going to Ukraine. So don't get scared of that because he is doing his job and that is to identify the person if he is a real student or not. When he asks you questions like what is your future goals, what is your future attentions after completing your studies, you need to tell them, you need to show your ties with your family and with your home country. You can answer them like this. I love my country and I love my family. My future goals are like this. After completing my course, I will come back to my country to serve my country. Because my country is a developing country and after a few years, the economy gonna boost. And this is the right time when I will get a degree of architecture or civil engineering from a country like Ukraine and then come back and I can make my fortune in my own country because I wanna serve my country. And you can also, sh also show them, also tell them that you, you want to support your family in future, and that's why you need to come back and you're going to support them in financially and everything. You can say all the good things in this 
statement. So sometimes he can ask you more questions like which I experienced by myself, my friends experienced that and which is he gonna ask you about one thing. What is your favorite subject? Let's say if you tell that your favorite subject is physics, like I told him, I told him that my favorite subject is physics. Then he gonna ask you one question related to physics and he's just trying to check you like you are a real student or not. So he asked me about the third law of motion and second law of motion and I answered them correctly. So let's say if, if you say biology, if you say math, he gonna ask you a tiny question related to bio, bio or math. So he can ask questions like what's the geography of Ukraine, where is Ukraine in Europe, what neighborhood countries with, your, with Ukraine, okay, questions like that. And maybe he can ask you what's the capital of Ukraine, what's the capital of Italy or France or anything. So these are just the basic questions to check your knowledge, to check you like you are really a genuine student or not. So my personal advice to you is that before going to embassy or before going for visa interview, you should watch this video two or three times and practice these questions and answer with, with, your, with your brother, with your sister, with your cousin or anyone or maybe your friend because this is gonna help you to build confidence and confidence is a key during interview because he gonna see that. He can see everything. So, so try your best to present yourself a genuine student, a good student or a good person or good personality in front of ambassador. So that's it. I try my best to list all the questions I could. So even if I missed some questions or maybe he asked you the questions that I forget to list them here, you can comment them down. It's gonna help us, you and everyone. I hope you like this video and so that's it. Take care of yourself. Goodbye. Allah Hafiz.